How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Salamander Wilds and this is night three of the amphibian migration and this time around I can actually hear some spring peepers this time so I'm gonna go up to the vernal pool and as I make my way there those spring peepers are going to sound much much louder and uh, this is just really really awesome i always look forward to this time of year of course since i love salamanders naturally this is uh, one of my favorite times throughout the entire year so i'm on the lookout for some spotted salamanders again and i am keeping an eye out for the eastern newt yet again now that i found the adult in the vernal pool i'm curious where i might find more so let's get going the roads are closed again, which is really awesome, and it's actually supposed to rain quite a bit tonight. I'm actually seeing uh, some drizzle come down in the light, which is a really great sign. I was actually getting a little worried that it wasn't going to rain, but the temperatures are absolutely phenomenal right now. So once we get that rain, it should bring out a lot of activity, but clearly just getting closer to the vernal pool, those spring peeper choruses are getting much louder already but this wind is picking up it actually looks like there's a thunderstorm watch but in my case that's a really good thing if it really does pan out that way tonight then this should really make for another awesome night i'm just really surprised because the first night panned out in a way that i, I just wasn't expecting at all Usually the first night, there isn't a whole lot of movement, but there was a lot more than I expected, which was really awesome, plus that Eastern Newt. And then the second night was definitely really good for what I found. I didn't find much, but what I found was really, really awesome. And if the rains come down, again, I should definitely expect to see a ton of movement. Really hoping it pans out that way. It looks like the weather should pick up in maybe about 40 minutes or so. So, fingers crossed. So, after, ooh, lightning. All right, weather's definitely gonna pick up, but just did a quick sweep of the road, and uh, not too much yet, but I did find one wood frog, two pickerel frogs, so definitely a great start. There's already activity, but once those rains come pouring down, there should be a lot more going on. So I'm gonna, come down here to the vernal pool and uh, you can probably tell already just how loud these frogs are. There's just a really incredible mix of wood frogs, chorus frogs, spring peepers, so many frogs here for the breeding event that is taking place at this time of year and is definitely a bit warmer than usual but these temperatures will definitely bring out some more salamanders once the rain comes. So I'm gonna take a quick peek at the vernal pool and see what else I can find while I'm down here. And then when the rains come back, I'm gonna make my way back to the road. And hopefully in the process, I get to see another Eastern Newt today. So I don't know if you guys can see what I am seeing, but look at all that. I'm gonna try to get a better shot and then I'm gonna get some underwater footage, but if you can see all these spotted salamanders in the water right now taking their role in the breeding event, tons of males, all those white spots right there on the bottom of the vernal pool, those are all spermatophores laid by the male, which the female will use to internally fertilize her eggs. There's just so many in this one spot incredible i'm definitely keeping an eye out to see if there's any females here i see mostly males so it's kind of tough to tell just like this but the cloaca stands out immediately already but i'm gonna get my gopro ready get some underwater footage and if there's this much activity already i can only imagine what might happen when it rains this is incredible. I don't think I've seen so many in one spot before.
that was a really awesome experience. I don't think I've seen so many spotted salamanders concentrated in one group like that before. I've seen them breed in court before like this at the Vernal Pool, but uh, just to see such a sheer numbers in one group was really, really awesome. Got some really great footage, so only saw some males, no females, but I'm sure they will be coming along soon enough when the rain comes as well. I mean, there's already females in here because I did see some during the first night of the migration, but that's probably not all of them, so I'm sure there's more to come. Well, as I'm about to speak, there is a spring peeper crossing the road. Definitely a male. You can definitely tell by that size. Typical size for a male. Really, really awesome, as usual. I love these frogs too, so... Uh, it, nah, he's not going to cooperate. I was going to try to get some footage. Maybe a picture, but... Uh, yeah, that being said, I was trying to say that there's actually a slight change of plans possibly might have to actually uh, cut things short right now um the weather actually turned out to be a little more severe than i thought i mean it's kind of hard i can't even show you how hard the trees are blowing right now but there's supposedly a, a tornado warning and severe thunderstorm right now so i don't want to be out here obviously for safety reasons um, so I'm just kind of giving one more sweep of the road before I go here. But, um, you know, regardless, got some really, really awesome footage. And uh, a little bit more than I was expecting, considering it wasn't raining for quite a little while until just now. And just as I was wrapping things up, what decided to come out and make its way across the road we got a male spotted salamander so still a great night either way i'm really happy i love it and uh i think i'm gonna have to kind of wrap it up i don't want to be out here too much longer with this kind of weather so as quickly as that rain came is pretty much as quickly as it went i was actually wrapping up the video <laughs> and there's another spotted salamander again while I am trying to record here but that's awesome because this takes priority but look at that here we go got another male over here nice size look at that really beautiful no wait is that a male no no that's a female that is a female Cloaca is a little large, but it's not as pronounced. She's she's just making her way. Since the rain started, also found quite a few more spotted salamanders making their way, which is exactly what I thought was going to happen when that rain kicked in. Uh, just a lot more activity. But even though the rain stopped, I'm sure I'm going to see many more salamanders making their way still. It's still pretty early in the night as far as I'm concerned. It's only 9.50, and you know what? That means many more opportunities to find some salamanders and hopefully that Easter noon. So I'm still keeping an eye out. It's still a really awesome night. I'm glad the weather toned down a bit because it was pretty much borderline unsafe. The wind was kicking up uh, pretty uh it was pretty crazy saw some branches breaking off the tops of the trees so just didn't want to be caught in a situation like that and it looks like there's another spotted salamander crossing the road i've got to get in on this action let's see what we got here let's see what do we have here no this is a male this is definitely a male very pronounced cloaca so it is making its way to the vernal pool as well. And uh, He's going by the trail, wow. Uh -oh. Going right down the trail. So actually, I know there's people making their way across to the road right now. Let's get this little fella out of the way to safety. No, don't panic, it's okay. And uh, let's 
put them over here where he won't. There he goes. There he goes. He'll find his way. Is that spotted? Is that spotted? Is that spotted? No, that is a stick. But I see a frog. And uh, I want to get video of that too. Two frogs. Look at that. Oh, got a young bullfrog here. Awesome. Let me see if I can set up the camera the right way. Let's get some good footage of that. There we go. Really good stuff. Not as cool as a salamander. I'm sorry, frog. I still love you too, though. Very nice. And I am going to continue my search for uh, any potential Easter newts here. There's actually uh, quite a few more people that showed up this time. And uh, they found a few salamanders. So really, really awesome stuff for everyone this night so far. And uh, a lot. It's actually less busy than the second night of the migration, which I'm okay with that because it kind of gives me more of an opportunity to look a little more carefully here and uh, have some animals, uh, less animals, spooked in the process. There goes another frog making its way across. So a lot more frogs at this end of the road. Here's another frog right here. Look at that one. Look at that. Really cool stuff. This temperature, the rain, it's just bringing out a lot of different frogs right now. And a lot of salamanders too. And we got a nice looking green frog right here. Really awesome stuff too. But salamanders are still my favorite. So I'm gonna keep going and look for some. But that means I probably have to turn back around and give the road another sweep at the other end. Here's hoping I can still find an Easter Newt. I don't think I'm gonna see one heading back this way, so I'm actually gonna just do that and turn around now. Let's see, what do we have here? Look at that, another spotted salamander. This one is a really big male. Look at that again with the pronounced cloaca there usually the females are this big this is a big one wow actually really surprised at how big this male is that is incredible that's just kind of eyeballing this here but it almost looks to be like six and a half inches That's a big salamander. <sighs> really good stuff here. Absolutely love it. You can see the enlarged glands right behind the head there. Very pronounced as well. Those really vivid yellow spots. Such beautiful salamanders. Absolutely love these guys. But I have a bias because I just like salamanders all around anyway. And there he goes. All right, so I'm going to wrap up this video for the second time and actually wrap up the video here uh, because it doesn't seem like there's too much else to see. Definitely a ton of spotted salamanders tonight in the water and on the road. So just as far as salamanders are concerned, perfect night. Fantastic. Couldn't be any better. Um, you know, a newt would be nice, but I'm not complaining. That's just a bonus. And, uh, you know, considering how rare they seem to be here, it's really not surprising that I didn't see one tonight. I know how lucky I got the first night and the second night of the migration. So awesome stuff either way. Got to see some frogs too. So yeah, I'm gonna call it a night. This was night number three of the amphibian migration. 
Got those spring peepers, coarse frogs, wood frogs, going at it in the background. Always awesome stuff this time of year. And uh, with that, I'll end it here. So if you all enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like, share, comment down below, and please subscribe. Your support is very much appreciated. And until next time, I hope you'll all join me for another adventure into the Salamander Wilds. Oh,